Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is actor has tag. Let's go ahead and run through a quick little example here. I'll hit play, do something, and we get a false result. And not very helpful, but that's because I'm checking to see if one of my actors, this sphere in the middle, has a tag. And it doesn't. So let's see how this works. The actor has tag node is pretty simple. If we type in actor has tag, we'll find it under utilities. It has two inputs, a target, which actor we're asking, and then a tag, which is a name, which is important, and I'll tell you why in a second. And then it returns back a true or false. So let's see how I have this set up. I'm basically getting my actor two, which is my middle node here. I am closing that one because I don't need it. We'll open it in a second. I'm getting the first version, so I'm getting that one. And then I'm asking, do you have a tag called blue? And it's printing out true or false. If we open up this actor, we can find our tags in the class defaults, under actor, under actor tags at the bottom. And right now you can see I have zero elements. So no, I don't have a tag called blue. Now before I go on, there's a couple things that are important here. If we go into here and we type in tag, and we actually don't have context sensitivity on, there's a few different places to find tag. We have get tags under class actor and set tags. Then we also have get component tags and set tags. We have things such as the static mesh, so static mesh socket, get tags and set tags. We have component has tag. We have a few different ways. There's also gameplay tags, which are completely different. What we care about now is our generic has tag for under the actor for actor has tag. And the reason I bring this up is if we go into our actor here, our class is actor, our parent here, our base is an actor, and we have under actor tags. However, if we go to our sphere, which is a stack mesh component, you will find in here, if we were to scroll down, tags, component tags. Those are different. They are not the actor tags. Remember, we are asking the actor for the tag. If we did component tag, component has tag, we're acting a component for its tags. So that is one place you might get stuck. Make sure if you're working with tags, you're not working with component tags on a component. We are working with the actor tags under actor. You can work with component tags. That is a separate video that I'll cover. You can work with the actual tags node itself, which is an array. Those are separate videos as well. But for our example, we're working with the base actor tag. Now that that's done, let's see how it works. Pretty simple. It's an array that we create. We can hit plus. We'll type in blue, and we'll go ahead and compile and save. Now this actor has a tag called blue. We'll go ahead and run this. We'll hit do something, and now it's true. Let's show it in a real world example. Let's call this an enemy. And then we're just simply going to check, it, check and see if this one has a tag of enemy. And if you're paying attention, you'll know something. When I hit play, it says true. This word enemy is capitalized. This word enemy is lowercase. But because this is a name value, a name variable type, case sensitivity doesn't matter. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uppercase, lowercase, upper and lower doesn't matter. It's case insensitive because it is a name variable type. And that's pretty much it. You can tag all your enemies such as enemy, destructible, explodable, pointable, whatever you want. They're useful ways of tagging things with a name variable or a text, basically a string, a word. You can tag it with a word. It could technically be a value, I guess. I mean, you could probably do, you know, is this 10? It should work, right? Let's hit play, do something. Yeah, it works. So you can tag it with whatever you want. It takes in a name and it's useful for determining things. You shoot something with a line trace, it returns back what it hit, you get the actor that it hit, you say, hey, do you actor, do you have a tag, 
are you a wall or an obstacle or a environment or a player or an enemy and then it can return back yes or no and then you can do something appropriately it's just another way of finding out what something is by asking it and you have your list of tags so that's going to wrap this up actor has tag takes in a target which is an actor takes in a tag which is a name type variable gives you back a result remember this is using the actor tags which you can find underneath actor tags.